Hello and welcome to the Critic Eculus. I'm the Monk and today we are in Empire of Sin. Obviously, patch 1.03 just hit a little while ago. I made the Nuzlocke rules a little while ago as well. So I figured we were overdue for another gameplay session. Another walkthrough, I am going to use the Nuzlocke rules and we are going to test out this new patch. Now, I don't want it to be an incredibly long session. You know, I'm sure you guys will already send me do this more than enough times. Um, so we're going to do a nice little small map, only six bosses. Of course, I'll be the seventh. We'll put it on boss difficulty, and we are going to use Frank Reagan because for some reason, it's saying I haven't completed the game as old Frankie. And uh, I know for a fact I have. So... Um, I'm going to use him again anyway because it kind of works with my Nuzlocke rules. Um, so, within my rules, I believe it states without me having a quick look-see, um, I cannot use a primary weapon. I think that bit's going to be quite tough. Um, that bit's going to be a bit of a git, to be fair. Um, as soon as I'm able to afford it, I have to pop old Frankie boy behind the desk. Um... Again, this is on boss difficulty, so at the beginning of the game, I'm actually going to have to go around and actually get that cash first anyway. Um, so that could be a little bit hard. We'll see how that goes. Um, I believe I also said that I cannot trade. Um, no trading whatsoever, which uh, that's going to be where it's going to hit me financially. So it may slay my... Slay? It may slow my pro progress down in order to actually get rid of Frank. And what was the other? No exploits of any kind. Well, that kind of come down into trading, didn't it? And then, of course, I added no fast travel. Because, of course, when I made these Nuzlocke rules up, we could fast travel and bunny hop everywhere around the map. Um, so we aren't going to be doing that. We're just going to be running around everywhere. Obviously, they've taken out fast travel now anyway, so you can't actually teleport, you know, 2X, 2B, um, you can't really do that. You can only teleport to your safe house and to the taxi ranks. Um, but I'm going to try and teleport as least amount as possible. Um, so no overusing that whatsoever. We're going to see how this Nuzlocke actually goes. Uh, see if we can see how this patch goes. And uh, hopefully have a bit of a bubble. So let's have a look. What might have a look? Uh, there are a few people for us to have a look see at. Obviously, what I'm trying to look for first are these little buggers over here. Understood. The thugs. Uh, we will request a sit down. Being on everyone's team, being friendly with everyone is still... Um, Profitable, it's still a very good idea to try and make sure you do. And, of course, having that very first sit-down is probably the easiest way to make sure that it actually happens. So, um, if you're watching this for the very first time, I will try. what I generally try and do is give you all of my tips, all of my thoughts while I'm actually doing this playthrough. Um, so, you kind of get some insight into everything I'm thinking while I'm doing it. Moving. I actually like Frank. Frank was the first character I actually uh, completed the game with. He was the first character that I ever picked um, back when I ever picked him. And there was a cop. Hopefully, I don't kill said cop. I would like to be on their team a little tiny bit. Uh, if I can, we'll see. I mean, this probably isn't going to be a very long play for I'm probably not going to get the money to actually bribe the cops in order to for them to be on my side and me to be a honorary deputy. But uh, if I can swindle it that way, I will. Get down! 
have them all fight out. Don't forget, guys, uh, if you enjoy this video and if you're not already subscribed to the channel, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It helps us out so, so much. Honestly, it really does. I think we've got 95% of all viewers not currently subscribed to the channel. So uh, hitting that subscribe button does help us out so, so much. And we really appreciate it. And of course, if you want more ways to uh, support the channel, you can always buy us a coffee or follow us on Facebook. Um, I'll put all the links down in the description down below and you can have a little look-see at them. Oh, lovely. All done. And as you saw, we got no uh, no minus for, uh, for killing those cops because we technically didn't kill the cops. I quite like the uh, the fuck change, the fact that they all look they all look different now, and in my opinion, better. Um, so I quite like that. It's a nice little ad. <laughs> However, I do feel that the crate nerf was not needed. Um, I'm a little bit sad about the crate nerf. I mean, it's not a huge deal, but I think, you know, throughout this playthrough, you're going to see that it definitely does slow down my progress. Um, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, but I guess maybe it makes it a bit more of a grind. Oh, that was a lucky find. I say that was a lucky find, but this is my fifth try a new playthrough uh, since Friday. Obviously, I was away at the weekend, uh, but I had a good, good go um, as soon as I could jump on this game. And uh, it seems that the crates, they like giving the blue vests. However, I don't seem to get multiple blue vests. Another thing that seems to be in every game at the moment is the golden Tommy gun. Every single time I start a brand new game, Open up the black market. There it is. The golden Tommy gun for $20,000. Can you get $20,000 in the first 80 days of the game? Of course you can. Um, is it worth it? I don't know. I don't know if it's worth it, but it's interesting that it's there. I think that's also a nice little add. It's one that I didn't read up in the patch notes, so um, I do like that it's there. We still haven't got enough to buy anyone yet. Gangster-wise, I believe they cost, what, three grand for a starter gangster? Um, so we're going to need to get said three grand first. Now, remember I said no trading. What that meant was no trading with the actual bosses in the game. Uh, you can trade with uh, the Black Market, but again, no trading with the Minor League crews. Um you just don't need it, guys. And at the end of the day, the trading's a little bit broken. You can very, very much so manipulate everything um, within the game. So it's just, it's just a way to make the game a little bit, a little bit tougher, a little bit more challenging for you. Um, do you know what I forgot to do though? I'm a bloody noob. Look what I forgot to do. I forgot to set a perk. And we just got some more ammo, so let's stick them in. What did we actually get, anyway? Extra 10% more damage. Very tasty. Have a bit of that. And we'll put another med on. And now if we go up here, we got some more thugs. Got a problem, sir. And they're still guarding a crate. Now, something I noticed is that the thugs still stay about even if the other bosses have got the crate. That still annoys me. Um, like I said in the little thoughts about the latest update, I really do wish they would change that. Um, it's just annoying more than anything. I mean, like, especially when you play on a small map with a lot of bosses, you don't get a lot of time. And so if you see a load of thugs on the map, you're going to go run there. And it's only when you've spent that time to get there that you've realized that the crate's not there. Um, and that puts you at a bit of a handicap. So I wish that if the AIs interact with the crates, pick it up, just have like, you know, a little battle take place and have the thugs be killed as well, rather than the, uh, the old crate box be looted. 
and them still stand there. Oh, we are under a little bit of a problem. Oh, it's that shotgun. That's the problem. I mean, look, it's a 60% chance to hit him. And that took us five shots to actually hit him. Um, so, yeah, annoyings. Oh, we are down to 50. 50 half isn't good. Let's go. Two thirds of a half went down then, guys. Chubbly, chubbly. That is all done. We got another shotgun. That doesn't really help us at all. We got another pistol. That, however, does help us. Remember, we are not allowed to use a primary weapon. Uh, there's no point in me even equipped in that. We can't use it, is what it is. Um, what was I looking at? These 10% crit damage. No, I think I'll stick to the ones we've got. Um, Put that there for now. We've got two grand. We're almost able to actually get a a gangster now. Uh, are there any more? Let's have a little look. See, can we walk down here? We can. We'll see if we can find any more um, thugs. I still go by this strat. I still think looting up those. Uh, Looting up those boxes is the best way to go early game. It's better than starting a war. There's no point in starting a war, if you ask me. Um, we've got the Donovans. We need to request a sit down here too. And that does remind me we do actually need to attend our first sit down. There's no more thugs down here. So I guess we will go and attend said sit down. It's really for the trade deal. Uh, we just want them to like us. It means they will like us if we accept a little deal. It also opens up the favours. Of course, you can't request a favour with any of the bosses um, without that trade deal being there in the first place. There we go. All done and dusted. Frank Donovan is, um, <laughs> he's a really good boss, to be fair, as well. I quite like him. Go towards the sit-down. Now, remember, we can't fast travel. I could probably fast travel to this taxi rank. It would be a shorter walk, short journey. Um, oh, hello. Hello, hello, hello. I believe I just spied myself another thug. Sure enough, there is a box there. What? I do actually need to get myself a melee weapon. That's what I need to do. Not entirely sure of all the bosses in this game just yet. Um, I think my first target... Oh, you see that, guys? I got a second piece of blue armor. And I was just saying that in my playthroughs, I haven't had multiple stacks of that blue armor. So uh, that's interesting. Request sit down. I do like the fact that they've added a neutral option uh, when you first see a boss now. I think that's quite nice. So you don't have to get all these sit downs if you don't want to. Like I said, I still think it's the best strat at the beginning of the game. So what, we've got three bosses in our neighborhood alone. Uh, we are the fourth boss, meaning there are three bosses for the other two neighborhoods. 
which means one of these bosses have a neighborhood all to themselves. That kind of sucks, doesn't it? Little gits. We're going to go the same way we did with old Donovan. Our speakeasies are not turning the same car. Congratulations. That's good. You know. There we go. We got that deal. Oh. Just spied some more thugs. Let's go have a look at that. Hopefully we will get. What do I really need? What do I need? I need cash. That's what I really need. Can we get the shot off? 65% chance we got the shot. Oh, great. We got a bloody cop in a way. Yeah, I see. Hopefully, we don't even have to do the cop thing. That would be nice. If we can keep it this way for as long as possible, keep those cops off us, that would be nice. Get down! I actually think the cops need to be buffed a little bit, honestly. Um, they don't really do too much in the game other than just annoy the crap out of you, you know? Yeah, there's no box there. That's annoying. Was there a box there when I came? Hmm, I didn't look. Initiated combat a little bit too quick to have a little look see at that. Like I said, I think if there's no box, there probably shouldn't be thugs. Uh, you know, it indicates that another boss had already got there first. And of course, I just wasted my time uh, seeking that out when, as you can see, all the other bosses have got their little squads running around. <clears throat> but we've almost explored our first city now, which is pretty good. Begin sit down. Ah, okie dokie. So I have just realized one thing. So, because obviously at the moment, oh, I do have enough. I have just about enough um, to hire my first gangster. But once I do hire my first gangster, uh, at the moment, the way the game stands, even if it is your underboss that you're using, you cannot interact with the bosses, meaning you can't do attend any sit downs or anything like that. I just remember that just then. Um, I do feel like that's something that should change. Um, I feel like if you make it big enough to have an underboss, um, that you should be allowed to use your underboss, you know? Um, I think that attending a sit down with an underboss would be almost just as good as attending it with the actual Don itself of the of the family. I think that why have it in the game that I can put old Frank Reagan behind a desk if I can't interact with a lot of the game without him? Does that make sense? Um, so I, I do feel like that should change. Also, a few of the missions, for instance, they they mess up quite a lot. If you don't use your, your boss, so you can't really complete a lot of the missions without using your boss. Um, but of course, the Nuzlocke rules, I wouldn't say that they are beginner rules. You know, I wouldn't say that if you've never played Empire of Sin before, I wouldn't recommend using the rules. It'd probably be a little bit silly. Actually, wait till you actually play the game a little bit, you know. Um, know what you're doing, experienced the other little bits. Who should I use though? Hmm. I would like to use Maria. I'm not going to lie. However, she has only 63 health. That ain't good. He has only 63 health. We're looking at 84 with him. And old Gibby has 75. So I think I'm going to go with Hugh. Solely for the reason he has more health. 
and this is right at the beginning of the game. I don't want to handicap myself a ridiculous amount. Um, so we're going to go with Shu as my first choice. Okay, so we got Shu. Uh, if we look up real quick, we're going to unattach the gun and the ammo already attached. The reason being is because obviously old Frank's about to go away anyway. We shouldn't need him. We shouldn't need uh, anything that he has on him. However, Shu needs it all. So we're going to unaccap, unaccap, unequip the shotgun. Uh, we're going to give the good pistol. And we're going to get the rounds. Uh, these ones look better. I fully met him up. Give him the old armor. And there we go. We are ready to go. I believe this is our little safe house. So um, we're going to pop up in here real quick. And of course, equipped Frank to the desk. Let's go. Now, of course, you equip your bosses exactly the same way as you equipped the lieutenants. You just simply deselect, go up to the desk, press Y, and assign. Right. As you can see, for actually assigning him to the safe house, I get loyalty passive. That's mainly because the gangsters aren't running around with Frank. Uh, we get another 10% draw, three extra guards to the safe house. And a speakeasy income up 10%. That's not too bad. I wouldn't say that's a good trade-off for losing your boss. Um, but yeah, I don't think that's too bad. Oh, what did I do? I just initiated combat. What do you need? There we go. Right. I had a little bit of a struggle then to remember <laughs> actually how to change character. Okie dokie, so we are Shoe Miller. Where haven't we interacted with? We need to go down here and see if there's any thugs down here. We could also have a quick shimmy in here, sell off our janky weapons. We don't have many janky weapons. Do need to keep our pistols. Yeah. can sell the nerve tonic and the wizard oil smelling salts uh, anything else we can sell I don't think so we have got four grand we have got enough to grab an extra uh, gangster. Understood. Let's see if we can actually find any more thugs first before we go to a different city. Or are we all done here? It does look like maybe we're all done. Right. I don't see no more thugs. 
There's no minor crews here either. Okie dokie. Next, it looks like we are going to go to the loop, guys. Now, remember, any more bosses that we actually meet, uh, we can't attend sit-downs to. Uh, so any deals we have are deals we have. We can't make any more. Oh, look at that. We have got some thugs right up here now. How many have we got? Four? Ooh. I don't know if we can do that with one little gangster, you know. But I do know we've probably got enough to hire a second. We can't hire... Well, we can hire her. However, there's a little bit of conflict of interest there. So we will hire Groves. I quite like him. Hire him up. Uh, we will unequip his weapon. Obviously, we said no primary weapons at all. Um, I believe we've got... There we go. Another pistol. We've got some more rounds as well. So we'll stick them on. We'll give him the armor. And... Frank Reagan has learnt a new talent. It will be a run and gun. Not that we obviously we're going to be using him. There we go. What? Got a problem? Now, hopefully, we don't die. Okay, so it's three versus two right now. Now, at the beginning of the game, obviously all the gangsters are going to be relatively low, you know. Uh, they're not going to have any, any kind of perks or anything like that. It's going to take a while for them to actually build up those perks within the game. So getting them as early as you can is going to be essential. Keeping them alive for as long as you can is also going to be essential. The longer you actually have a gangster within your crew, uh, the more perks he's going to have, meaning the, the, the more useful that they are going to have, uh, going to be. Um, even these beginning gangsters you can use right up to the end of the game. You really can, as long as you actually keep them alive long enough to get you know a good perk or two. Really, that means stick to the same weapon. That really helps massively. So obviously, the more kills you get with one weapon, um, the more perks you'll get on it. And the better you'll get at using it. Looking forward to getting some half-decent melee weapons, it's got to be said. Um, I'm allowed to use melee weapons, just not the old primary weapons. Looks like it's only the cop left. Again, can we let other people kill him off? I don't know. Down on the ground. Uh, no, there's only one unknown character, and he really isn't close enough um, I got it. In act to actually get that kill, so it's, that's not going to happen. Right on. But we can finish him off. Behind something. There we go. That is our first cop killed of the game. Hopefully this box actually has something half decent inside it. Okay. 
that's a little bit more than half decent we'll definitely take that uh we will stick that on our shoe means we've got enough armor for another gangster as well however we have no weapons for them even if we could swindle into getting some we got enough money, just uh, not enough gear for another gangster. So we'll hold that on the back burner for now. Plus, we're already minus 400. Um, that's quite significant. Do probably need to start getting... Um, well, what do we want? We want... Yeah, we'll do that one. Maybe taking over the minor faction would be a good place to start. We'll go for the neutral option here, Mabel. Oh, guys, I'm really sorry if you can hear that. I literally just had someone start roadworks by the sounds of it. Um, That's not helpful. We're in the middle of a gameplay here. No more, no more. That's rather annoying. I do think this is probably going to be the neighborhood that I start in. As we found a minor faction, I think we're going to start there. Um, let's have a quick look down this street. See if we can find any more mobs. Any more thugs anywhere? Where you at? May have got to this city too late. I'm sure there's still another thug here somewhere, but uh, it does look like maybe we got here a little bit too late and they, uh, uh, most of them have already been cleared out. Maybe I spoke too soon. Let's have a little look-see. Is the box there? That's the question. Got a problem. No box. Box has already been taken. Uh, we're going to initiate the fight anyway. It's mainly for the kills. If we can get a couple of, you know, a couple more easy kills up on there, I think the first perk you get is on the tenth kill. Um, but yeah, if we can get some more kills, easy kills, that's definitely a good idea. And look at that! We've got two kills without receiving any damage at all. Got another 400 quid, so that pays for um, our little weekly deficit. Uh, continue going down here the way we were, I believe. Hopefully, we will find some more thugs. Another one in here. Old Grover got stuck there. As you can see, though, the new update, I mean, it's running very smoothly. We've had a few little battles now with no real problems. Uh, we will accept a non-aggression pack. Again, as you can see, the box that these guys were guarding is gone. Um, again, I really do need to stress, I really feel that if the box had been gotten, that the AI should have forced over it. They shouldn't have just been able to run up to it and grab it, um, leaving the thugs there. It is just a waste of my time. As you can see, that's the third time, I believe, I've wasted my time to get a box that hasn't actually been there, which, you know, is a real shame. Definitely going to have to uh, message them and try and get that fixed because I feel that it's a little bit of a bug, you know? Obviously, we can't run up to the boxes without initiating a fight anyway. Um, so, really, the AI shouldn't be able to as well. Everyone should play by the same rules. You get what I mean? That's the way I see it anyway. Third time lucky in the city now. Let's have a little go. 
To be fair, the pistols have uh, done us well against the thugs. Oh, really? <laughs> no, there's there's no there's no boxes, guys. There's no boxes left in this city. But as we have had the third strikeout of the day, and of course we have still got roadworks going on, uh, I'm probably going to end this video right here, guys. But thank you very much for joining me. Looks like we've got our first melee weapon, so we'll definitely attach that. Um, I'm going to try and do and get these episodes out daily. Um, hopefully it won't take too long to actually get the entire you know, playthrough actually out to you guys. And uh, hopefully we can have a good little time. Hopefully seeing that there's no problems with this game. Obviously that's the uh, end hope. And uh, obviously we'll see how this Nuzlocke actually plays out against a safe house. Which could be interesting. I think I'm going to need a bigger crew. No boss, no primary weapons. Eek! Could be big problems. Um, but hopefully we get through that pretty smoothly. But guys, I've been a monk, we've been a Criticulus. And I will leave you as fast as possible before these roadworks get any louder. I'll catch you later.